the Voyager 2 is back on track. The well-known probe is gathering science data again after recovering from a glitch in interstellar space. NASA's Voyager 2 launched in 1977. The space probe is currently exploring interstellar space around 18.5 billion kilometers, 11.5 billion miles away from us. Two years ago, it became the second human-made object to enter interstellar space, joining its twin, Voyager 1. In late January, power overuse interrupted the probe's operations, shutting off its science instruments. But NASA just tweeted that all five remaining instruments on Voyager 2 are back on and returning data. Voyager 2 experienced the anomaly when it attempted a roll to calibrate its magnetic field instrument, drew too much power, and accidentally tripped safety software. Recovering a machine that isn't even located in our solar system is not an easy task. Troubleshooting for the spacecraft is a slow process because of its distance from Earth. It takes 17 hours for each command to reach the probe and for data indicating its efficacy to reach engineers. But Voyager being Voyager, despite its age, still continues to beam back valuable data about the cosmic world. The spacecraft has long exceeded its mission expectancy. So, engineers have needed to improvise ways to keep the probe going, particularly as its power supply diminishes. Now that Voyager 2 is back, its five remaining science instruments are back to work. The remaining instruments are a magnetic field sensor, two instruments to detect energetic particles in different energy ranges, and two instruments for studying plasma, a gas composed of charged particles. These instruments are helping scientists understand what happens beyond the heliosphere, the bubble of space influenced by our sun. Voyager 2 left that bubble in November 2018, entering interstellar space. But do you know how NASA knew that the probe had entered interstellar space? When Voyager 2 exited the heliosphere last year, scientists announced that its two energetic particle detectors noticed dramatic changes. The rate of heliospheric particles detected by the instruments plummeted, while the rate of cosmic rays, which typically have higher energies than the heliospheric particles, increased dramatically and remained high. These changes confirmed that the probe had entered a new region of space.